Hello everyone, Will again here, and as you can probably see behind me, I've got three tucks in and they've all got pink spots on the bum, and that is because we're gonna be making these into teaser tucks today. If you don't know what that is, basically we're gonna be vasectomizing these three tucks. So the vet's gonna come out, and throughout the video, we'll be explaining exactly what is going on and why we do it. So I really hope you enjoyed today, guys. If you do, please give the video a massive like. If you want to see more stuff just like this video, just give the video a subscribe. And don't forget, videos every Wednesday and Saturday at half seven. Cheers, guys. Right guys, so now we're just gonna have a quick chat about what a teaser tup is and why we do it. As you can probably see, we've got three here for the operation today, or I should say they've already been done, but we're gonna show that after I spoke now, just because it's easier in this order. Um, so basically, yeah, a teaser tup, what they're used for is to bring use onto heat before the proper tups come in. But what we don't want with these is for them to impregnate the use. So basically what these do is bring the ewes onto the heat so that they cycle much closer together. So a ewe cycle is about 17 days, so we want lambing to be over in one cycle if possible. So if we can bring all the ewes into heat, it means that they're gonna be tucked properly by the real tups in one cycle, if that makes sense. Hopefully it does. So that is why we're doing this today. So basically these will go in with the ewes 14 days before tupping. We'll leave it a couple of days and then we put the actual tups in and then we're ready to go. So yeah, the operation today, it's fairly simple, but we'll talk it through it now or we'll cut into the operation now with the vets. Oops, I, like, I, so I, I mean, I'm quite interested in this because I like all things feet. If you keep hold of front legs, if he starts going head droopy, head yeah. down, so that it, all the saliva that accumulates just comes out right, and okay. gets aspirated, okay. Yeah. Just straighten you up a little bit. Very hairy at all, are you? Try to breed it off. Yeah. <laughs> so, have you ever seen one of these, dude? No. Uh, on Yorkshire Vet. <laughs> uh, this is just local anaesthetic. Yeah. Recently. So, I first see numb in it. Numb in it, yeah, because the epidural doesn't sort of take away all sensation so ah, okay I just I use the epidural as a bit of a sort of an additional just to help yeah to sort of try and make their feet feel a bit numb basically yeah. did you watch Clarkson's farm oh yeah <laughs> did, you, did you think that put farming in a good light because I did yeah definitely yeah it was proper it wasn't taking the mick out in the past and got very annoyed with them so everyone happy yeah yeah so we, what we do is we just cut down to the tunic which has basically got the cord and everything in it yeah yeah okay they just they don't like this bit because it's basically pulling on the testicles which again the epidural helps with that but it doesn't completely take away there yeah I'm just breaking down connective tissue there with my okay. finger and I'm going to pop all that out like that. That's a lot bigger than what I thought it was. Yeah, so that's muscle, blood vessel and in here somewhere is what we're looking for, which is often, so it's easier in tubs that I've obviously had some sexual yeah, activity. Yeah. But keep it out like that. Is that the white? It is the white, I think it's that there. Yeah. Or is it that there? So I'm just making a really fine incision over it. Alright, mate. Oh boy. And there we have it. Ah, so. 
that you snipped or I tie it off so uh, okay. I put a suture either end of it uh, and then we keep these bits in formalin right okay until well we probably keep them most things get kept seven years that's just blood vessel there right right Bonding thing <laughs> You can see it's actually quite, you know, when you are castrating them at this. But the, yeah, but they, um, I think the guidelines for scrotal circumference is, is similar for um, bulls as it is sheep. Like okay. They sort of, in relation to the rest of their body size, sheep do have massive testicles. Yeah, yeah. If that makes sense. Um, testing if there's been a problem, and by that point it's too late, isn't it? Yeah. So that might view on it is better to get them tested. Sorry if I drip sweat and <laughs> no, I'm into the surgical so field. I'm, I'm glad we're in this show. Yeah. Watching. Right, so what we do now is we cut that away. Yeah. So we've got that, you know, right. we've got a good couple of inches yeah. there. And then we just let go of that push all that back in and what I do is I that still attach to the end of the vest okay. deference and I use that then to start sewing up because the aim is you're just making a great big scar yeah yeah, yeah. Um, and the more scar tissue you get the less functionality you're gonna get yeah yeah, yeah. I have never known them grow back especially when you're taking out that much mm. but it you know it, it in theory well, be safe and so. can happen can't it so yeah sorry you've, you've seen a c-section oh yeah it, is yeah. it similar with delays of muscle and so less important here i yeah. mean there's not really any muscle in this bit yeah. between the no. sort of skin and that this is you know there's a tiny bit of muscle there but yeah. it's just one layer underneath yeah whereas we normally do two layers on the side yeah, yeah. and then i'll just put some sutures in the skin yeah. i'll do it all with this suture material so this is dissolvable so right okay you don't actually have to cut it up. remove anything now i've got so what, what i do afterwards is give them an injection of like an antidote to the sedation. So okay, so it wakes them back yeah. up. Just brings them round a bit quicker. You can regroup in a minute yeah. if you want, because I need a bit of back stretching. <laughs> that was him swallowing that. Silver spray afterwards, and raw fur, which is nice and everybody like yeah. raw fur, and, yeah. um, and then they're just sort of following them mm. to different places, aren't they? Yeah. And they're bored. Problem with borders. <laughs> <Just see. laughs> in here, so we put them. Uh, yeah, that formalin. That is formalin. I'll, I'll get. I'll label them. Up. So metacam going in. So cut. Give you some antibiotics in your leg. This is called antecedent. Right. So okay. it's atipamazole is the actual drug. Um and that is basically the sort of reversal agent of the sedation. Cool. Oh that's fine. Are you do you still need me? No. That's all right. Oh my <laughs> So what you want to look out for is basically any signs of swelling, yeah. infection, Ooh. is epidurals works. <laughs> Right guys, I really hope you enjoyed that today and it's quite informative of how we make a teaser tuck basically and why we use them on the farm. 
Soon these will be going in with the used, well I say soon, at least six weeks because they need to be waited six weeks to make sure they're completely infertile and then they can use for their job. Well yeah guys, I really hope you enjoyed it and found it interesting today, saw it a bit different, it's a rare thing on the farm because obviously these last five or six years so we're not going to need any more for a while but yeah guys massive thank you for watching today and if you did enjoy the video please give it a massive like if you want to see more stuff like this just smash that subscribe button to see more videos on the channel every week cheers guys see you again